What's going on guys? I'm Blake Bayless with Hicks and Hooks. Today, Zach, Ryan, and myself are heading down to the Shelbyville Spillway, and we're going to be doing a fish counting video with none other than brush pile jigs. We've got a little different variety that we're going to see, and we're going to put them to the test, see which one catches the biggest and which one catches the most. we got low temperatures, slow moving water, and it's also shallow, so we're going to go out there and give it the best that we can, but this is what we're working with. We're rocking the Deadly Force, we got the Melon Berry, the Orange Jubilee, and of course the Electric Chicken. These are all swimmers, you can find these on his website, or you can go out to Mound Road, go into Sharp Outdoors, see Lee, and he'll get you guys fixed up. So hang out with us, and we're going to keep after it. I love catching these things. We're getting a weight on this sucker. Alright guys, so here we are, about 20 minutes being down here. Got this beautiful walleye on none other than the brush pile melon berry. Let's see if I can't get that hook out for you real quick. Maybe not. Nope. I'll get it out in a second. But nonetheless, beautiful fish. Gonna keep out. What's going on guys? I'm Blake Bayless with Hicks and Hooks. Today I'm with Ryan Metzger. Uh, Zach's not with us today. He had a previous obligation, but this is part two of the bait counter video. We are headed back to Shelbyville Spillaway with the same four baits, and we're going to give it another shot to see which one can produce. The last time we went out, it was low temperatures at the spillway. It came in, I think it got down to about 42, 41 degrees, and the water level was pretty low. Now, it hasn't rained much, and though the main lake's sitting at average summer pool right now, the spillway, it may even be a little bit lower. The last time that we went out fishing, we were fishing on the bottom side of a barometric pressure uh, drop. So this time, as we're going out, we're gonna be at 60 degrees for a low tonight. Right now, we're sitting at 75. It's beautiful out. Hopefully, the fish are moving. We're gonna be fishing on the barometric pressure rise. So uh, we got 80 degree temperatures this week. It was 84 degrees today. So we're gonna go back out there, continue to throw, and see what we can get. So hang out and uh, let's keep after. Um, all right guys, so we came out here, the water level's pretty low, temperature's really comfortable. I mean, I'm out here in a sleeveless shirt. We got a breeze coming up, it's blowing up the spillway, and it has been dead. It has absolutely been dead. But, when in doubt, you keep after it, you stay strong, using none other than brush pile jig, what they call the melon berry. Look at that, guys. What a fish. I mean, we're talking dead of night out here. Beautiful, beautiful largemouth. I mean, I cannot believe how long this bass is. And just, I mean, how stout he is. So we're going to get a weight real quick. We'll turn it on when I get him set up. All right, guys, so we got him on the scale. So you can see, five pounds even. And how about that? I matched my PB. My personal best largemouth bass is five pounds. But what a toad. We're going to get him back in the water and keep after it. All right, guys. So we're a few hours in and uh, still pretty slow by it. But I did want to show this absolute horse right here. Beautiful crappie. Middle of the night on the brush pile electric chicken. Can't beat that. We're going to keep after it for about another hour and a half, maybe two hours. So... Stay tuned. Be crazy, but literally the next cast after the crappie got this small largemouth. Isn't that something? Electric chicken strikes again. All right, so I'm hooked up to a solid fish. I don't know what it is yet, but um, this is literally two casts after I just caught that small largemouth. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty curious to see what this is. If it's a decent sized fish, we'll have to stop the recording. Ryan will get it netted for me. But uh, I'm on an ultralight throwing a 116th ounce jig head on none other than the electric chicken oh looks like a big striper bed looks like a big drum a drum yeah i think it's a big drum he drilled it oh yeah yeah what do we got here 
Oh yeah. yeah. Big nice drum. Big perch. drum. Wow. Look at that. I'm gonna try to land him here off of that. Oh, come here, sucker, sucker. Get off that rock. Stay off that. Alright. <laughs> How about that? Look at the size of that drum perch. I think that's the biggest drum perch I've ever caught. We might have a new PV as long as you break seven. We got it. So we're going to get a weight on him right quick once I get this hook out. There's no way. There's no way. Would have thought he was bigger than that. He looks bigger than that. Yeah. But nonetheless, six pound, 12 ounces. Okay. We're going to get this fish back in the water. Keep after it. All right, guys. So here we are with a... Another pretty nice drum perch, not near as big as the first one, but once again on that brush pile. So, hey, you know what? The bite's slow, but decent fish are hitting. Uh, we're just going to keep on rolling. we got about maybe another hour we're going to put into this, so we'll uh, keep after a big it. big mouth buffalo, bud. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it was a small mouth buffalo, his sucker would be on the bottom of his jaw. But see how the sucker is there on the front. Uh, well. Now that he's got the crap beat out of him. Nonetheless, wait, are you still recording? Oh, yeah. I've been recording this whole time. Oh, my God. Uh, nonetheless, Orange, Orange Jubilee. Orange Jubilee. Good deal. Hey guys, so that's what we got for you. Um, a little quick breakdown of what all happened. On the first night that we went out, the melon berry was the winner. It ended up producing the most fish. We caught a lot of crappie, a lot of white bass. Uh, even caught that nice walleye that you saw there in the video. Um, it was a slow, steady bite, but there were fish moving. Now, the second night that we went out, the melon berry produced a large fish, caught that uh, largemouth bass, but it was the electric chicken, my personal favorite, that came in clutch with catching the majority of the fish. It caught drum perch, it caught that crappie. There were a couple of other small fish that wasn't really worth the time to film, but uh, you know, smaller crappie, smaller white bass. The Orange Jubilee caught a few. Um, it caught that nice buffalo that Ryan pulled in there at the end. So um, my opinion, if you're looking for a bait that's guaranteed to help you catch fish in rough conditions, these two guys right here are gonna be your best bet. You can get them at Sharp Outdoors off of Mound Road in Decatur, Illinois, or you can go to brushpile.com and order them yourself. So thanks for tuning in. We appreciate your continued support.